Good morning, good morning. Good morning, guys. Today, I would like to share Hot Toy Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Although the prequel trilogy was about Anakin Skywalker and the rise of Darth Vader, but no doubt, Obi-Wan Kenobi is an integral part of that. Also, many are uh, there are many releases of Obi-Wan before, as you can see. There is the Episode 4, the O-Band, the Episode 1 from Sideshow. So, how about this one? Let's find out. It also comes in the Deluxe Edition with the extra accessories in the regular edition. Let's get straight to the point. Is it Haskell bad? No. But it's still a few notches down from JC's prototype. A lot of the details in the paint were softened from the prototype. I have tried to add a little bit lighting shadow on that to see if it makes you feel better. What do you guys think? For the accessories from the deluxe set, we got the hologram desk. Basically, it's just a light up table. You insert three AAA batteries you have to buy yourself on the bottom, turn the light switch on, and there you go. Then there are two nice hologram pieces. Plastic. Of uh, Emperor, uh, Palpatine, and Anakin Skywalker. Quite nice details. To recreate the scene where Obi-Wan saw the hologram recording, you can see there's different colors, especially on the hands and the face, and also they create the texture, as in you got the uh, jigsaw from the hologram. Same with Anakin. Quite interesting. Also, they hollow up inside for a better reflection of the light. Not bad. Same with Palpatine. Next, we have Baby Luke. Well, there's no resemblance here, but they don't have a lot of 1-6 baby infant in the market, so this is a nice accessory, however you look at it. On to the regular accessories, we have the chop-up android, the droid. 
basically to simulate the cut thing open by the lightsaber with the heated metal. However, is, there is no articulation. Primary set piece just for display. The details are quite nice though. Also the head, where you chop off the mouth. You can see the pink application, it's pretty good. And then the arm, not much to do with that. For the hand shapes, quite standard Hot Toys quality. Basically the force hands, the one holding the walkie-talkie, the communicator, all in nice details and paint. The two uh, grabbing hands for the lightsabers, two re relaxed palm, and then it's a special hand shape for his unique pose. I'll show you later. Overall decent quality. Almost forgot the communicator because it's so small. Basically, Obi Wan used this to talk to Anakin R2 in the movie. Nice details. Then onto the lightsaber and the saber arms. If you're a collector of one to one scale lightsabers, this one is amazing. The details, the color is just amazing. So I do collect myself, but I have the hero. So this one is different version, but still nice. If you want to light up the saber, you find the light up saber arm, open the screw, put in the batteries, and then the light up the light, and then the saber light up. This one has one of the longest stops, so you make sure you match it with the right body, because some of them have short stops. They also have a slashing blade effect, so you can stick it on there, it will simulate you slashing the saber through the air. Quite nice. And also, I have an old band Kenobi uh, lightsaber arm from the A New Hope. Essentially, it's the same lightsaber, except it's much more dirty and old. However, there's other modifications because, for example, the original trilogy they used D-ring, the and then the prequel they all use covered head knob. Plus, there's some minor details. So, in theory, it's the same. It's a nice collection. Then we also take a look at episode 1 Obi Wan lightsaber. This one is by SciShow, released many, many years ago. So, this is the first saber when he was the apprentice of Qui Gong. The details are less than Hot Toys, of course, but still pretty good. Also, they have a different design. Okay, you pull out the hand, the hand actually is the connector for the light bulb, and then the battery is in the forearm. You slide out, you slide open the compartment, you insert the batteries, and then you just have to push it back on. Well, come see me, give me a second. Oh, there you go. And then you slide it in, and to turn on, you just pull the end of the lightsaber. Simple. Last, we have the standard Star Wars base stand. This one's the same, except you have two cover. One to simulate the spaceship and one is the Terran. So you pick which one you want, uh, pop in the pose and there you go. You also have a nice nameplate Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. So you can use it in any version you have. Nice. I think they did a good job on the custom this time. So basically, it's a good recreation of the character from the movie. You don't have a lot of platter letters to worry about. And also, there's a lot of weathering on the uh, on the shirt if you see. Some brown, yellowish to simulate the mud and dirt. And also, it's a loose fabric so it does not hinder articulation, which I will go through in the next section. Also. They have some wires in the clothes to help you fixate the shape, which is a nice touch. But for the boot, there's no alternative than letters, letters. But look at it this way. This way you get better uh, articulations in the ankles. So you give and take.
you got the standard Hot Toys base body for this figure, and I don't think it has a fat suit underneath, and the and the uniform, the custom is loose enough, so they don't have any hindrance on the articulation, it's pretty, which is pretty nice. Again, the pleather boot allows for ankle uh, articulation. I can live with that. Also mentioned earlier, there are some wiring in the clothes to help you fix the shape. So that way your clothes won't go different direction. Look at it. You squeeze it, you form, you set the form and then it stays that way. Nice. Also the, some wires on the sleeve too. Not bad. Only thing that I have to complain is the sleeve. Because of the swapping of the lightsaber arm, the right one basically ruined. Maybe Hot Toy Star Wars figure is not as popular as Marvel figures, but to a true Star Wars fan, they are a dream come true. For this set, I still recommend you go for it because the things I like overall, the custom, the accessories, the lightsaber, everything is in good quality and design. And also, this is probably the best 1.6 Obi-Wan you have. So if you want to complete your collection, this is a must. Now onto things I don't like. The change of the lightsaber arms is a pain. I'm sure in theory they are good, but I hope the engineering, they take a time to try it out first, is a pain. Also the head sculpt. It's not a head sculpt per se, but once you show the prototype to build up the expectation, this is what people got. People bound to reflect on the dissatisfaction. So that's it for today, hope to see you guys next time.